here we have a small nodular lesion of the breast, which would be visible on mammography because we have these multiple calcification here. However, this is not ductal carcinoma in situ. This is collagenous spherulosis. It is a benign epithelial proliferation made out of luminal cells and matrix producing myoepithelial cells. It is really important not to misdiagnose this lesion as ductal carcinoma in situ or adenoid cystic carcinoma. On the periphery uh, of this nodule, we can see multiple small ducts and some of them are slightly dilated. But they are not fused together and most of them are not associated with epithelial proliferation. And here we can see this cribriform structure with intraluminal aggregate of acellular eosinophilic basement membrane-like material, which is surrounded by these myoepithelial cells. Here we have another focus. The intraluminal material is typically fibrillary, and it shows radiating pattern. So here we can see these strands that uh, radiate from the center to the periphery of the lumen. It is very important to pay attention to these myoepithelial cells. They are not monoclonal as in ductal carcinoma in situ, and therefore they are not so uniform. We shouldn't see uh, palisading of these cells around the luminal structures as in ductal carcinoma in situ. And immunohistochemistry is quite helpful. These myoepithelial cells would show positivity for P63. The cells in ductal carcinoma in situ uh, are much more monomorphic and the myoepithelial cells would be uh, seen only uh, in the periphery of the nest. Here we can also see these multiple calcifications. Here we have the focus of apocrine metaplasia. Here we have the slightly cystically dilated ducts. Otherwise we can see quite normal adipose tissue, some fibrous tissue, and the more or less normal terminal duct lobular units. And here, here. Again, here we have some duct dilation. So this is collagenous spherulosis. Thanks for watching.